I'm here to go through all of the outfits and accessories that Rebecca sent me. Um, so let's just dive right in and get started. So the first one is Josefina's Accessories. And I was looking further at this pamphlet because I really didn't get a chance to look at it when I was opening all the goodies. And um, so this explains about Josefina's Rebozo. And I have no clue if I'm saying that right because I don't know Spanish at all. But it just says, in New Mexico, girls and women wore a long shawl or, oh, here it tells you how to say it. Rebozo. Rebozo. Okay, so I think I was saying it right. Almost all the time, they wore them. They wore their rebozos in many different ways, and Josefina can too. Here are some ideas for you to try. So it says, place it over her head so that the right side is longer than the left side. Then loop the right end of the rebozo loosely over Josefina's left shoulder to help protect her face from the sun and wind. Or you can center it over her left shoulder, pull one end diagonally across her chest and the other across her back, tie the ends together in a loose knot over her right hip. Or you can do it this way, center it over her stomach, pull both ends around her waist to the back. Yeah, that sounds confusing. Bring <laughs> the left end over her right shoulder, bring the right end over her left shoulder, it makes an X across her back, pull the ends straight down in front and tuck them in the rebozo at Josefina's waist, letting the fringe hang below. Or you can just simply have it on her shoulders like that in that picture. So this is what it looks like right here. And as you can see, it's very long. So there's like, you know, many different styles with that. So I'll have to try it. I'll have to try it out. I'll have to play around with it and see what I can come up with. And then I'll like either take pictures of her wearing it or, um, do a video. So there's that. And then there's her gold necklace, which I'll have to get out and put on her. And it's, it's like almost like a cross like thing. And then in the middle, it has a jewel and I can't tell if it's black or red. The lighting is really crappy right now. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then this says Josefina's Jola. Um, so let's just open that up right now because I want to see what that is. It's in a little, I'm just going to throw away this plastic cover, but it's in a little envelope and let's, let's see, we open it up. Okay. Oh, it's like a little coin. Can you guys see that? I don't know if it'll focus. I don't know if it'll focus. There we go. It's like a golden, it almost reminds me of a penny actually. Oh, that's cool. So there's that. And then there's a little brown, um, purse kind of thing and looks like it can open there's like a little gold button and then there's a little strap there but there's nothing in it so I'm not going to bother opening it right now and then lastly is her little handkerchief it's white and it just has this little flower embroidered on it so that is Josefina's accessories. Okay, so next is Josefina's heirlooms. And so this has um, another type of a shawl. You can see it's pretty big. It's like a mustard yellow color. And it's like this big triangle. And then it has these little 
fringes hanging down and then each corner has embroidered red flowers with green stems next is this bracelet I believe it's a bracelet yeah so it's like a on black cord and it has this gold little pendant dangling from it that's like a teardrop shape and it won't focus uh, gosh darn it and then it has a little golden clasp to close to, to close it up that's a pretty big bracelet for her wrist I wonder how that's gonna fit and then we have her fan so it has this black tassel on the end and it actually opens up look at that it's a little fan and in between each little fan blade or however you want to call it it's black lace isn't that pretty so that's her hair looms Okay, the next one is Mary Ellen's play outfit, which like I said, I definitely plan to get Mary Ellen at some point. I already have her poodle skirt, and so now I have her play outfit. So it comes with these cute little denim capris. And they have little white, two little white buttons on each side at the bottom of the legs. Adorable. And then it has this cute little white button up tank top and the collar and the, it's sleeveless. So the sleeves and the collar and then the part where the buttons go down and around the bottom is all trimmed with white and red checker and it has a little bit of a slit on each side and then it has four red buttons down the front and it's just velcro so they're not real buttons like that you do up um and then has oh and it has uh embroidered cherries in the left hand corner and then the shoes go with that because the shoes are kind of like a patent leather and they're white and then they have the same embroidered cherries on them. Um, and then it also comes with this red and white checkered, I believe it's supposed to be a headband, head, head scarf it says, head scarf, kind of like a hairband. So that is her play outfit and it's so adorable so I just I love her era she's from the 50s I believe and so she's got all the big poofy poodle skirts and everything like that which reminds me I think I still need to buy her crinoline like I bought the poodle skirt but the day that I bought the poodle skirt, they were sold out of the crinoline to put under it. So I need to get that um, to put under there. So the next one is Melody's birthday outfit, which in the box opening, I had just showed you this picture. But now we're going to actually open it up and see what it looks like up close. Um, oh, it's taped. I was not anticipating that. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is gorgeous. And Melody is, I was right. She's the one from the sixties. She's African American. Um, I really like her collection too. Cause I like that era as well. 
I'm not 100% sure I like her as a doll. I'm kind of back and forth on whether or not I want her. Um, but definitely some of her clothes are really nice. So this is just a purple sweater, which is going to be really nice for the fall and winter. And then it comes with a purple plaid skirt. And in the right corner, kind of like a, it almost looks like um, a belt, but it's not has a little gold button and then comes with white tights to keep her legs warm and then she's got these cute little white patent leather type shoes they're very shiny and they have a little black bow on them really cute and then she's got two purple hair ties that have big purple bows attached to them that I guess if you wanted to do pigtails or you could just use one if you wanted to do a ponytail. So just some hair bows. And I love it because it's purple. Lupus awareness. It makes me think of lupus awareness. And I'm sure that's why Rebecca chose this outfit. And it's just super cute. I love it and the sweater is so soft so so soft so I really like that okay so next is Josefina's nightgown and I always love to get the American Girl um, pajamas for all the girls so as you can see it's just a plain white cotton nightgown and it has kind of like a mustard yellowy orangey actually it's more on the orange side um, just around the chest area it's like woven across and then it has a bow with long strings coming down and then there's a little bit of lace at the top and then the bottom almost has like a tiered effect, three tiers, and the first two have that same yellow orangey stitching going across. And then to go with it, these are I guess kind of like slippers. And they are like a creamy color shoe, kind of like a patent leather feel to them. Um, not, not the shiny patent leather though and then the stitching around the area that the foot goes into is that orange threading and then there's embroidered flowers on the front that have like a peach a red and an orange color so really really nice just a very simple basic nightgown but it's very much um, from that time period so that's really good and then we have I forget which one this one is oh this is Josefina's feast outfit so this has <clears throat> this bow and I don't this one doesn't list um, the names of all the items in it so I have to go and look on the website as to what exactly this is and how it's worn with this outfit but I'm trying to get it out of the plastic so it's like a red oh okay so there's two red ribbons on their own so I'm thinking those are supposed to be like hair top hair ribbons. And then there's this, um, it's like a orangey red color, very thick bow that I would think maybe this is to go around her waist somehow. And then there's a white cotton top that has some lace around the neckline and around the sleeves in kind of like a tiered effect on the sleeves. 
and then to go with that is this um, skirt a nice cotton skirt it's got white at the top and then it has green ribbon going across and below the green ribbon is like a turquoise polka dot pattern with um, trim of black running through and then at the bottom there's like a design embroidered with black it's really pretty so like I said I'm gonna have to look on the website to see um, just how this outfit is worn and what all the pieces are and then it comes with these satiny type shoes that are a turquoise color as well really beautiful um, so I'm I'm definitely gonna go online for that and I have to go on to the website anyway so that I can print off pictures of um, the outfits because as you know the way I organize my outfits is um, I keep all the pieces together in a Ziploc bag for like you know each outfit I put all the pieces in a Ziploc bag and then I print off the picture that shows all the items included in that outfit so that I can keep everything together and I make a sticker I use my sticker maker machine to make a sticker of the picture and I attach it to the Ziploc bag so that way I can always keep track of everything which by the way I just realized I forgot to put Melody's shoes back in with her outfit so I will have to do that after but I'm moving along to the last piece is Josefina's summer outfit right here in this nice big box and this one I think I managed to show quite well before but we'll look at it again so it's a orange dress and it has short sleeves and then kind of like a ruffle a three-tier ruffle effect at the bottom you can see that and uh, so it's just orange and it kind of has like um, a diagonal stripe going through it that's kind of orange and red and then in between each stripe are little yellow flowers and then it has a um, fake leather uh, vest brown that's worn at the top and then it also has this big um, straw hat that has a nice braid all the way around it it's like um yeah it feels like maybe horse it's supposed to be like horse hair that's braided around the brim and then at the back it's tied together with some kind of a brown cord and the ends like you can feel that it feels like hair on the ends and then it has it even has a little um tie to go under the chin that has a little bead so you can move that bead up to secure the hat on so it's really cute um yeah so i'm like super excited <sighs> i'm so out of breath my breathing hasn't been good again guys like it's just not good but anyway hopefully as the winter comes into play and things aren't so humid that will help um, <clears throat> but there's that I'm excited to try these outfits on and also like just organize them into my stash so yeah guys um, so that is all of the items uh, that Rebecca sent you know we got to have a good close-up look at them and I see Melody's outfit box right here so I'm just gonna pop those shoes in there so that I don't forget but um yeah thank you so much again Rebecca I absolutely love everything and yeah I can't wait to get it all organized and it's bags and get everything in its place and then you know actually 
put the outfits on and take pictures of her and stuff. So, yes. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these new outfits up close. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new because when we hit 40,000 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. We're going to be giving away a Liam Middleton baby boy. So don't forget about that. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.